I just finished wrapping up my review of the Hisense U6H and the TV was quite impressive. It marks a great entry point for users who are looking for a generally decent all around TV with gaming features and some local dimming. However, the Hisense U7H steps things up even more with its feature set. In a way, it acts as the company's high end full array local dimming TV with some of the best gaming features on the market and a panel that is able to produce some incredible image quality. Where the U6H stumbled in some aspects, the U7H perfects it and you can definitely see some improvements across the board here. The Hisense U7H is also the official TV of the FIFA 2022 World Cup and Hisense should be proud of themselves for putting together such a great display. Sure the Hisense U7H is a little bit pricier than its predecessor. The TV will set you back 15,999 Rand for the 55 inch, 19,999 Rand for the 65 inch, 29,999 Rand for the 75 inch and 39999 for the 85 inch. But you pay for the extras and they are so worth it here. The Hisense U7H unboxes the same as the U6H, but there are a few tweaks here and there I should mention. First off, the inside of the box is foam padded instead of polystyrene. The TV also uses a completely different stand, so the box has to accommodate this feature. Once unsealed, I removed the stand and top protector from the box. I then slid the box over the TV revealing the covered unit. The TV includes special pad protectors on the left and the right hand sides which are used to provide cushioning when placing the TV down on the surface to install the stands. The stand is quite easily installed. I simply screw the middle frame into the bottom of the TV using the screws provided, flip the TV over and it was ready to go. Setting up the Hisense U7H was pretty simple. I could either download the Vita app by scanning the QR code on the screen or manually connect to the internet to sign in. I chose to use the app. It was simple enough once installed. I connected to the Wi-Fi through the app on the phone and got everything up and running. It definitely makes things easy instead of having to sit and type out your email and password using the remote to log into your Vita account. When it comes to the design, there's no denying that the Hisense U7H looks excellent in person. The metal base stand, while being very anti-sound bar, looks great and gives the TV a very modern look. It stands 6.5cm off the surface and you might have some issues putting a sound bar under the TV due to the stand that comes out 12cm from the front of the display. The TV boasts a metal frame around the edges of the display. There's also a gunmetal base on the bottom of the TV that's got a sort of dual layer design. On the right hand side there's a small etching that shows off the Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos logos. I have to say the general design of the TV is extremely elegant. The black glass panel looks so clean and the thin metal frame gives it an extremely premium look. There's also a high sense logo at the bottom near the sensor and a red LED light. When it comes to the ports, the TV includes everything you need on the left hand side. Here you'll find two HDMI 2.0 ports with ALLM and the other HDMI 2.1 ports. These two ports include one port with eARC while both ports support ALLM and VRR. These HDMI 2.1 ports also boast 4K120 support. Other ports on the U7H include one USB 2.0 port and one USB 3.0 port, an Ethernet port, audio out, mini AV, digital audio and two tuner ports. There's also a common interface card port for those who use this. Most of the ports are situated on the left hand side while the Ethernet digital audio port and USB 2.0 port have their own ports on the back of the TV. The power port is then located on the right hand side of the TV. The Hisense U7H is quite a robust TV and if you could think of a modern TV feature, it does have it. Both the 55 inch and 65 inch models come with full array local dimming, while the 75 and 85 inch models include full array local dimming pro. The larger TV panels just allow for more dimming capabilities but the general picture quality here is superb. I was especially impressed by how incredible the black levels are on this TV. While the local dimming does still produce some blooming here and there, you're not going to get any better than this when looking at an LED TV. The Vita OS includes all the apps you'll need. It is also expected to get Disney Plus in South Africa soon too. Hisense is also launching the FIFA Plus app on Vita before the FIFA World Cup 2022 kicks off. It will make for a great companion for the official TV of the World Cup and includes highlights, match archives and live games. Beyond that, the general use of the OS is fast and responsive. Apps open and close quickly and switching between active apps leaves them open in the background to return to what you were doing before. The Dolby Vision IQ mode also enhances supported content depending on your room. I found that at times it even increased the brightness of the content I was watching due to the light in my room. I did notice that some content stuttered here and there when making use of the feature. This was likely due to the sensor detecting the light in the room while also adjusting the TV settings in the background. If this does happen to you, you could always disable the IQ feature. 
I was impressed with the general image quality across all streams and content. The Hisense U7H packs a 600 nit display, which is bright and vivid. The Hisense's U7G packed a 700 nit display, so this one is a little dimmer. However, I did measure 569 nits of brightness in a 100% window, which is excellent for a panel like this in the first place. The peak brightness here also allows images to punch through any glare you might face on the TV and makes content really look great. When it comes to local dimming, the Hisense U7H includes 48 dimming zones that help keep the black levels down as low as possible when playing games and watching content. The 75 and 85 inch models include 120 dimming zones due to the size and the pro local dimming feature. In a decently lit room, blooming is basically non-existent thanks to these dimming zones. Unlike the U6H which completely eliminated small objects when turning on the local dimming onto max, the U7H keeps them around, meaning you'll still be able to max out the local dimming feature without losing any image quality. The only time you'll really notice a lot of blooming on the U7H is in a dark room and you're dealing with very bright objects on a black background, sort of like subtitles and stars in the sky. Apart from that, this TV does a fantastic job replicating a pure black image. Now gaming on the Hisense U7H is where the real magic is and the TV packs some of the best of the best features. First off, the TV comes with 4K 120Hz support and it's quite flawless. You're getting the full 4K resolution here when using the mode and there are no resolution sacrifices both horizontally or vertically. It also comes with VRR and ARRM. There's a toggle in the settings to enable and disable FreeSync too. FreeSync and VRR make the world of difference when playing games. Gaming is so much smoother with the FreeSync and VRR enabled. Every feels fluid and rotating the camera in the game results in a jitter-free and screen-tearing free experience. As expected for an LED TV, local dimming is reduced when you enable FreeSync on the display. During my review period with the TV, Hisense issued a substantial update to improve the local dimming and game mode experience on the U7H, and it makes things easier to understand when you're deciding between using local dimming or FreeSync. Make sure you update your TV to the latest firmware to get the best game mode settings and versatility on this unit. So in the perfect world, you should be able to do local dimming with Dolby Vision Gaming, 4K 120Hz and FreeSync at the same time, but sadly, LED technology just isn't there yet. It is what it is. However, the Hisense U7H lets you easily choose between local dimming or FreeSync. If you want to use FreeSync, you simply enable it on your PC or game console and make sure you toggle it on the TV settings. This will automatically turn your local dimming off so you can enjoy smooth gameplay. If you prefer local dimming, you simply disable FreeSync or VRR in the TV settings and on your PC or game console and the local dimming settings will then automatically kick in so you can toggle them to your liking. I should mention that even though the local dimming gets disabled when using FreeSync and VRR, the Hisense U7H's panel is already quite impressive and is still able to produce some fantastic black levels without the help of the extra dimming. It is a small price to pay for smoother gameplay, although I definitely prefer using Dolby Vision Gaming with local dimming enabled. I'm just a sucker for image quality. Hisense has also added a dedicated Dolby Vision Gaming mode to the U7H and it is one of the few TVs to boast this mode. This means playing games on the Xbox Series X allows for Dolby Vision quality without sacrificing input lag. The mode is tailored for gaming and looks absolutely incredible. The combination of FreeSync and Dolby Vision Gaming mode that actually works properly makes this TV an instant sell for me. These features just make gaming so much better and you'll be happy once you feel and see the difference. The general panel quality on the Hisense U7H is great. I didn't notice any major issues and it was clean and uniform. It packs 75% DCI-P3 coverage, which isn't the best, but it is ample enough to deliver all the content that you need. The viewing angles were also decent, but you'll want to sit in the middle of the TV to avoid seeing the blooming caused by local dimming. The panel is also quite reflective, so avoid placing it facing a window. The speakers were also surprisingly good. Now I won't say they will replace the soundbar, but they were actually quite punchy and clear. There are only 10 watts and for general content they'll do okay. So the Hisense U7H is quite an impressive TV. Not only is its general viewing experience decent, but its gaming features tick all the boxes for those looking for a 4K 120Hz TV for their PS5 and Xbox Series X. It has a great panel and feature set, so definitely put it on your list of TVs when shopping around for a model that does it all. The Hisense U7H starts at 15999 for the 55 inch, 9999 for the 65 inch, 29999 for the 75 inch and 39999 for the 85 inch. So those are my thoughts on the Hisense U7H. I'll leave links in the description below where you can pick up the TV and find out more about it. Also make sure to check out the review of the Hisense U6H and the U8H coming up soon. 
Thanks to Hisense for sending this TV my way. Please do consider liking and subscribing so you don't miss any cool Hisense content coming up. Until next time, farewell.